All right. So just for everyone's information, All right, so just and one is condensed. So I'm trying to use those terms. So um, there's been more that, see what you don't understand is because of this case, I got to move. And so I, I need Richard, to, if you could ask a more precise question. Yes, please give me the time period. <laughs> Mr. Wade visits you at the place you laid your head. When? Has he ever visited you at the place you laid your head? So let's be clear because you've lied in this, this. Let me tell you which one you lied in right here. I think you lied right here. No, 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 no. no. This is the truth. Judge, and this it, is, it, it is a lie. It is a lie. Ms. Will, Mr. Sena, thank you. We're going to take five minutes. Be back in five. You saw the book here, uh, Find Me the Votes. That was shown to you, correct? Yes, sir. Your Honor, I would like to just, uh, tender this as an exhibit, uh, number 22. Is, your, is that your copy? It is. All right. What exhibit is that going to be? 22. All right. I'm making the con the, uh, the is that evidentiary contribution here um, to this. Now, well, well, I guess the, you're, you're tendering it. Is it with the um, position of the state? Mr. Gillen, are you, are you using this to confront her with prior statements? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And statements that she made concerning her concerning her financial situation and laying the foundation for that, and that she gave these interviews uh, to the authors. And so this would uh, document that, and we ask her to uh, get this in the record to ask her questions about it. Uh, well, we could mark it for impeachment purposes. I'm a little wary of entering an entire 300-page book because I don't know exactly what every single line, if it would pass hearsay or relevance or et cetera, et cetera. But I don't think it needs to be admitted as a an actual evidence for the record for you to do what you need to do with it. So 